We're here at Springfield Stadium on a sunny Jersey day. I'm here with uh, Constable Simon Crowcroft. Um, Simon, thank you very much for coming down to Springfield, the home of Jersey football. It's a busy time for you right now. Uh, tell us how your campaign's going. Yeah, I think it, it's going well. I'm trying to tell people what I've been doing for the last 20 years and what I'd like to do if I'm re-elected next week. Fantastic. So, you know, we are here at Springfield Stadium, the home of uh, Jersey football since 1905. Um, tell us why you think it's important that Springfield remains the home of uh, football here in St. Helier. I think it's vital that football stays in the heart of town. It's um, so many people have access to it, whether they come uh, to watch the game or, or to play the game. I think uh, the majority of people live in St. Helier um, are going to really appreciate keeping football at Springfield. Thank you. And one thing we'd love to see happen at Springfield Stadium over the course of the next few years is a, is a couple of things. When this, this bouncy pitch that we're stood on at the moment needs uh, replacing, uh, look at getting a, a quality surface which will attract uh, more professional teams and more, more visitors to the islands. Uh, and in addition to that, you know, uh, as a Jersey Bulls perspective, you know, we, we don't have secondary income on match day. So we, we're looking to get a clubhouse which would not only benefit the Bulls, but it would uh, benefit the Jersey Football Association, such as hospitality days on the Marathi. Um, is that something that, you know, the investment for the site that you would be willing to, to support and back? Yeah, I've already seen uh, some of the plans that uh, have been put together for this and I can see there's a real need for uh, the club to have its own facilities so that uh, you can have a, that sort of business plan that will work uh, and, you, and you can also provide for the large numbers of people who are going to be coming here and needing those extra outlets for, for food and beverage. Uh, as far as uh, the clubhouse goes, uh, I've always been concerned about the amount of open space in town uh, and I believe that you can achieve your new clubhouse without losing uh, any overall open space in the ground. So I think that's going to work really well. Great. No, it'd be fantastic to see a, a clubhouse and you know a better surface here in Jersey because the amount of professional sides that we hear from that won't play on this surface is is frustrating. Uh, and you know we're happy in St Helier and would love that to uh, to remain. So, what do you think the benefit of having the national football stadium is in St Helier for the island? Well, St Helier is the capital of Jersey. Uh, it's where a third of the population lives. Um, it's where a lot of our tourists come. Uh, and I think this part of St Helier will really benefit from the influx of um, the spectators coming on match days. Everyone, be everyone benefits, all the surrounding businesses, the hotels, the pubs, the cafes, the restaurants. Uh, they will all see uh, an upturn in trade when people come to games here. And as I said, the residents living around the site, I live a stone's throw from the, the stadium and I enjoy hearing the goals scored when I'm in my garden. Uh, I know when someone scored for Jersey because I hear an enormous roar from the stadium. Uh, people li living around Springfield enjoy having this as a community facility uh, in, in the heart of the town. Fantastic. Well, we hope we can, uh, you can hear more goals going in uh, from your home uh, uh, next season, which is due to start um, shortly. And um, what about the benefits in sort of, um, you know, uh, becoming a sustainable, a more greener island? Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about that, Simon. Yeah, I think the, the other important point about anything which happens in St Helier is that it means that people don't have to get in their car to go to it. And, and I think uh, the, the attractions of, say, moving football out west uh, would mean that everybody in town would have to make that journey out west, whereas here they can get to the stadium on foot or on their bicycles, or when we have a, a really comprehensive hopper bus service, they can jump on the bus to get to the stadium and to get home again. So it's much better for the island's environment to have this kind of facility that will be attracting crowds uh, in the centre of the town. Fantastic. Well, there you've heard it from uh, uh, Constable Simon Crowcroft about the sustainability, the environmental benefits of having a football stadium here in Jersey. We hope, um, you know, uh, politically we can get all this support post uh, the 22nd of June. And Simon, we look forward to uh, welcome you to Springfield Stadium on the 2nd of July for our first game of pre-season. I look forward to it. Thank you.